In this video, we will show you how to connect the Echo Power Midas Y Series MPPT controller to the batteries and solar panels. First, we need to connect the Midas to a 12 volt or 24 volt battery. In this video, we are using a 12 volt battery. Remove the waterproof cover of the controller and use a screwdriver to connect one end of the battery cable to the controller and the other end to the battery. As you can see, once the battery is connected, the controller turns on, the battery light symbol lights up, and Midas will show the battery parameters on the display screen. Press the PV button to view the current solar panel voltage, current, power, and total power generation. Press the battery button to view the current battery voltage, charging current, temperature, and battery capacity percentage. Press the load button to view current load voltage, load current, power, and total power consumption. Press the set button to view the current charging status and overall load consumption status. Press the escape button to turn the load on or off. Next, we'll show you how to set the battery type. The Midas controller can charge flooded, gel, sealed, and lithium ion batteries. To change the battery type, first press the battery button, then the set button. And finally, press and hold the battery button for three seconds. The battery icon will flash and press the plus or minus button to select the battery type. The highlighted battery type will be set as the selected battery type. Press enter button to save the battery type. There is no option for the lithium battery. How to set the lithium battery will be described later. In this video, gel has been selected. Midas is equipped with a temperature sensor that can be connected to the RTS port of the controller and then the ambient temperature can be viewed through the controller display. If you would like to detect the temperature of the battery more accurately, you can opt for a remote temperature sensor to monitor the temperature of the battery. Connect one end of the remote temperature sensor to the RTS port on the controller and place the other end in the battery box or attach it to the battery surface with insulating tape. There are two different ways to set the controller to match the battery type and parameters. The first is to connect the controller with the MT50 remote meter to monitor the power generation information more comprehensively, set the load switch duration, and customize the battery type. Connect one end of the RS485 transmission line to the COM port of the controller, the other end to the RS485 port on the back of the MT50. After the connection is successful, the MT50 screen will light up and the parameters will be displayed. Press up or down arrows to view the specific power generation and load usage. Here you can set the battery type or customize the battery type. Press the escape key to enter the settings options menu. Select down arrow to control parameter and click OK to see the battery type menu. Click OK again, the battery type icon will flash Press the up or down arrow button to choose the battery type. If you would like to customize the battery charging type, you can go to User and customize the battery parameters, which will not be discussed here. The second way is to connect the controller to the PC and use Echo Power Power Station monitoring software to set the parameters. This software can display the power generation data in real time, make statistics, export data, and most importantly, you can set the parameters of a lithium battery and your load parameters through PC software. Connect one end of the RS485 transmission line to the COM port of the controller and connect the USB on the other end to the USB interface of your computer. You can download and install Echo Power Power Station software from the Echo Power official website. Finally, connect the solar panel to the controller. First, connect the cable with the MC4 connector to the Midas controller. Then connect the MC4 connector of the solar panel to the MC4 connector of the controller. When the connection is successful, the solar light on the controller screen will flash and display the charging parameters. Replace the waterproof cover of the controller. The entire controller system is now connected. We hope this video will help you familiarize yourself with the Echo Power Midas Y-Series Charge Controller. Thank you for your purchase and have a wonderful day.